Hello, my name is Jesper Schastein, coming from Lapogene in Denmark. Today we will introduce you to the Minimark beta system, which consists of a ScanSpeed 32, chemical membrane pump and a drip catcher and then all necessary hoses for doing the connections. Also have a small screwdriver and the only purpose of that is to be able to open the lid when there is no power connection to the unit. Simply open the safety lock at the back you can open the lock, the lid, and now it will not go down again because of the safety here. Inside we do have a rotor. as a standard. And this rotor is for 2.0 Ebendorf tubes and 1.5 uh, ml Ebendorf tube. Inside we have a Teflon coating as well, so the scan speed is resistant for anything. We will then connect it again. Close the lid, so it's now locked. We will do and start the assembling of the unit so we can get it ready to work. First, we have two hoses. One will fit at the back of the ScanSpeed 32. Tie that on by use of a screwdriver, like this. Then we have the uh, cast catcher system. Place the lid be careful with that because this glass pipe is actually quite sensitive for, for uh, damage there are three locks so we can make sure that we actually catch the waiver inside small lid put on the hoses and the other one to the vacuum pump. So now we are ready for start the operation. The power for the vacuum pump or the membrane pump is actually attached to the back side of the centrifuge, which means that this is controlled by a relay, which will not allow the pump to start before the RPM is more than 1000 or if we have a set point below 1000 RPM, then when it reaches the set point. The power to the uh, unit will then be attached to the main power, and we now get power into the unit. And it is, in fact, ready for operation. When we want to change the set point, you just enter, for instance, RPM. RPM start flashing and you use the bottom up and down. Actually 2000 RPM is maximum. Going down to, for instance, 680 or 90, say enter. Then you could say time. Do we want to change the time to run for an hour? Or say yes. And then we just decrease to zero minutes. Enter. Temperature. Now we can change it go up and down and you can see we can go down to plus 4 or up to plus 8 80 say enter and then the vacuum is actually not controlled we cannot control the pressure just it will show you what the actual pressure is we can make small programs where we can say we would like to run for a certain rpm for a certain time at a certain temperature and call it a different Product, uh, program numbers going from 0 up to 99 programs. So we can say that we open the door, close the door and start. Now the speed will go up to 690 and when it reaches the speed the pump will then start. And it will work now for one hour or we can just stop it. The pump will stop immediately and the rotation will slowly stop and at the same time it will release the pressure to atmosphere pressure. There will be a small alarm telling you that the rotation has stopped and is ready to open the lid. So, press the button and we can open the lid. So now we can take out the samples and get everything to work uh, normally. Again, close the lid, start the rotation. 
The reason that we can change the set point to plus five is that if we have a pre-cooled rotor and sample to let's say five degree and we attach that to the scan speed, then the sensor will measure that now it's cold and would like to put on the heating on. So to avoid that, we can give the set point plus five and then it will just be equalized and it will not start the heating before we change the set point to another chamber temperature. Thank you. That was all we would like to tell you about our scan speed mini vac beta. And uh, just thank you for listening to that. Thank you.